Hey, what is up guys? Chris here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a Minecraft texture pack or resource pack as they're called now for 1.6 and up. And uh, I know I did this video already and I showed you guys how to do it, but someone asked me to show you how to do it in paint.net. Uh, so there'll be a download of paint.net down in the description, and um, here it is right here. And as you can see, I'm already editing this this blaze powder. I made it blue, but I'm going to go through the steps and show you how to... Uh, do it for rizzles, my nizzles. Alright, so what, um, wow, I came really unprepared into this. Alright, what you're going to want to do is you're going to download the default resource pack, which will also be in the description. So you're going to download that, and then you're going to go into, whoop, like this. Let me make sure I have the default resource pack downloaded. I'm pretty sure I had it in here. Actually, I think it, it went away because I actually, uh, yeah. Anyways, what you're going to want to do is, let me find the default resource pack really quick. It's right here. So basically, I'm just going to tell you what to do. Make a new folder anywhere. I just made it in my uh, thumbnails tab in libraries. Um, you probably won't have one of those unless you made an extra one. But I have this one specifically just for all my thumbnails that I make. And what I did was I made a another folder in here called texture pack. And I o open that up and I put the default resource pack inside of it. And when you have it inside of it, you're going to right click and click extract here. And then that's going to bring out the assets and the pack.mcmeta into uh, that folder. And you're going to need that in order to put it into paint.net because paint.net does not allow you to drag and drop it. Um, I don't know. It might There might be a setting for that, but I just downloaded the program now and this is the easiest way I found to do it while I was playing with it. So just put that all into a new folder, like so, texture pack, obviously, and I have it in my thumbnails folder, blah, blah, blah. All right, I'm going to close that now. Now you're going to open paint.net, obviously. Uh, I have it open. You'll just need to open it. Uh, you won't have this here. But what I am finding out is this is a great program. This is awesome. I see a lot of people using it. I usually just use Photoshop, but this one is a lot. It's really nice because then you could, uh, like, do all this. It's a... Uh, you know, all, all the history, it's just really good. Anyways, back to it. Now you're going to go to File, you're going to click Open, and then it's going to load. My computer decided to be slow. All right, anyways, you're going to go and find that Texture Pack folder, and mine happens to be right here. Texture Pack, go into Assets, Minecraft, and then here's all the textures and stuff you can um, you can play with and then change. I'm not going to show you how to do everything. I'm just going to show you how to change the textures in Paint.net. I'm not going to show you how to change them or change sounds and stuff because that was in my last video. I'll leave a link to that as well. All right, so we're going to go into textures and we're going to change an item this time because items have a lot of transparency. And, uh, well, I just opened the wrong item. So I'm going to go back and do that again. So here, you know, you get to see it again. Anyways, it's going to be opening this already. And we're going to... Let's find a diamond sword. Diamond... Diamond axe? Diamond... Diamond pickaxe, shovels, sword. All right, we're going to open that. And here we go. And then you could come up here in the top left corner, and it'll say window, and it'll have a little uh, zoom in tool next to it. You just zoom in like that. Um, there might be an easier way to do it. Like I said, I, this is just the way I found. And you're going to want to go to the tools, which is right here anywhere. Usually it's right here when you first open it. You're going to go to the pencil tool, and we're just going to go ahead, and we're going to mess around with this sword just a little bit just to... Uh, make it look noticeably different so that uh, you know you can tell that I've changed it alright so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make the edges of it completely black not just this dark blue color and you know I'm gonna try and speed through this just because uh, I didn't I don't wanna bore you guys with me doing this and um, you know out of all the programs I've used to work uh, work on a texture pack or resource pack as it is called now uh, this Program paint.net seems to be the easiest actually, which is kind of crazy. Like, I have Photoshop, and Photoshop doesn't seem to be nearly as good as uh, paint.net, at least for texture pack. I know there's a lot more you could do with Photoshop, and um, also if you don't want to get paint.net, paint.net is free. You know, they ask for donations, but you don't have to. Like, whatever, I'm not going to donate, I'm just going to download your free program. But, um, you can also use GIMP, and I'll show you another cool thing that you could do. Uh, now that they updated to 1.6, you have this whole box that you can make stuff in. So basically, there's no going outside of the box, no making it bigger, anything like that. 
what what you can do is you can actually extend the sword and make it uh we'll we'll add some blue to it and we'll just go like this bring it there why not just just to show you guys that you can do this and then this comes out to here like that and then we got some transparency I'm not gonna do anything fancy to it or anything right now but um yeah now what you do is this is why this program makes it so much easier you don't have to go through any bullshit of exporting or anything like that so what you have to do is you're just gonna go up to file in the top left corner you're gonna go down to save as and then it can open up right where you took it from so it's already in right where you took it from diamond swords name the same thing keep it dot png you're gonna need to do that png keeps transparency and that's what minecraft uses so just click save and then click diamond and then it says diamond sword already exists want to replace it click yes it'll replace that don't touch any of this don't touch a single thing here this will, the settings it's at leave it the same just click ok then you're completely done now what I have here is I have minecraft open already uh, default resource pack is already in here obviously I cannot take that out as of right now so what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to go to I'm going to go find the folder with the texture pack in it. Now what you do is you drag in this assets to that folder. It's going to, you know, render out all this crap and do what it needs to do. And then you're going to bring the pack into it like that. And that's going to take two seconds. You're going to open it. We're just going to make sure. Oh. You're going to make sure it is in there. Items. Uh, diamond sword. And as you can see, there's our diamond sword there. All right, now we're going to uh, open up Minecraft. I'm not going to use Fraps for this just for the sake of I don't want to edit it all together. So now I'm going to open up the resource pack folder. I'm going to drag that to the side. Now we're going to go back into that folder. I don't know why I closed it. All right, texture pack. And then we're actually going to rename this. Rename it. Uh, just name it my name. And then we're going to drag it on over into here. And then we're going to close that up close that and as you can see here it is right here dot zip you can delete the dot zip on it if you want then I'm gonna click done alright whatever hopefully this isn't that bad of quality you know I do have it in the little box so whatever you know this is just to show I'm not going for apps. I don't want to edit this video out at all alright obviously you can see the blaze powder I have and here's a diamond sword look at that so the texture has changed and um you know Look at that. It's perfectly the same. It's, you know, uh, uh. Yeah. So, changing the texture, I've said this many times, and, you know, I'll say this as much as I can. This is one thing I do need to stress is that, um, well, keep, oh, look at that. Uh, keep trying if you don't, you know, if you can't get it. Um, keep trying or post a comment. If you guys need help on anything else, tell me, and, um, I will, uh, Oh god, what, what, what was I saying? I will uh, try to answer your questions in the comments, or I will try to uh, make another video uh, helping you. Um, yeah, um, the one thing I do gotta stress though is what I was actually trying to say is that um, changing the texture does not change the weapon. Uh, you, it doesn't hit farther. It doesn't change anything about it. Still the same crafting recipe. Everything is exactly the same. Uh, I just wanted to throw that out there. You know, because you kind of have to. So if this video helped you, please subscribe, please like and comment, uh, comment questions, all of that good junk. Um, yeah, and I will try to help everybody as much as I can. Um, yeah, so subscribe and comment, like. All right, see you guys later. Hope this helped. Later. Like where your house phone at? Yeah. Can I mount some bag? Double click and get your mouse attached.